On today's IRS tax update, we will take a look at the latest developments, including the next round of tax refunds scheduled for release this week. And from there, we will recap the top reasons behind those tax refund delays, as well as some of those tax topic codes being encountered when checking those refund status results, such as codes 152 and 151. And from there, we will take a look at what happens in the event. Your tax refund is sent to a closed bank account, or the wrong bank account number was listed on your tax return. Starting off with the latest as the next round of tax refunds are scheduled for release on July 31st, August 1st, and August 2nd as confirmed by the viewer submitted tax transcript seen here. Now, if you are part of any of these latest refund batches, while most of you who have chosen to receive that direct deposit refund will see it post your bank accounts by the listed refund date, do allow up to five additional days for it to post your bank account before initiating a payment trace. And for those of you who have chosen to receive a paper check by mail, while most will receive that within seven to 10 days, you will need to allow up to 30 days before being able to initiate a payment trace and an as additional reminder. Not all refund status results will update. So to confirm you are part of the latest refund batch, do make sure to check your tax transcripts for confirmation. That tax topic code 152 is a normal tax processing code and is no cause for concern. And even if the code disappears, that does not indicate a problem, however, if you do encounter tax topic 151 that does indicate a potential issue likely resulting in a refund adjustment as a result, and tax topic 203 indicates part or all of your refund is being applied to an outstanding balance, such as past due child support or other government debt you may owe. Moving on to some of the top reasons behind those tax refund delays that have impacted tax filers, including many of our viewers over the course of the last several months, include the most commonly reported issue is that of an entry error, or what the IRS considers a math error, where the tax filer has accidentally entered a wrong amount on a tax return. Now that is such a common occurrence that just two years ago, over 17 million tax returns contained some sort of error that needed additional action by the IRS to be resolved. And it could be something as simple as just one single digit being off on the tax return in question. An additional review of the tax return is another commonly reported cause of refund delays and can be identified by the 570 tax transcript code. Now, the additional review could be as a result of the tax return being randomly selected for a wage and or withholding review which has impacted many, or it could be as a result of a discrepancy on the return such as wages not matching or a credit being claimed. Moving on to another cause which has caused delays not only this year, but in previous years is that the tax filer's employer's tax information has not been processed yet, which is important as the IRS matches what you have entered on your tax return and compared it to what your employer has reported for accuracy. Now, oftentimes, those impacted by this receive a 60-day notice from the IRS stating they are waiting on your tax information to be available on their computer system. ID verification continues to cause significant delays and specifically impacted those who filed their tax early this year. And while the IRS is supposed to send out notices to those impacted by this issue, notifying them to complete ID verification. They are not always received, which leads to many not being aware. This is the cause of their delay in the first place. And as we have seen in previous years, until tax filers take further action, discovering the course of the problem, it could take additional months to resolve. And finally, those who file paper tax returns experience some of the longest wait times as an IRS employee must manually enter each digit of the tax return into the computer system. Another problem impacting some who have had their tax refunds released is the direct deposit refund was sent to a closed bank account, or the bank account listed on the tax return was incorrect. And if you are among those impacted by this, you are likely to receive a, an 841 refund canceled code on your tax transcript, which means the refund in question was returned back to the IRS as not deliverable. And at which point, the IRS will mail out to you as a paper check usually within four to six weeks of receiving it back. It is important to note, if the IRS receives it back, you will not be able to call them to give them a new bank account to send the tax refund direct deposit to. If it has been five days and you have not received it in your account after the 846 refund date code on your tax transcript, do contact the IRS to initiate a payment trace. Let us know in the comment section below about your ongoing tax issue. In the meantime, we will keep monitoring the situation for further developments, so make sure to click on the thumbs up and subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.